Seeing none, we'll hand it over to Steve. Thanks, sir. All right, thank you. Uh, kind of different for me to be on this side of the camera. Uh, a, uh, trying to get this set up where I can. All right. Field day. Uh, in three FJP. Who's used it? Before? Who has not used it before? Not used it. Okay. All right. So we have a few. Okay. That's all. So, well, if you uh, if you used it, yes, you did. You used it at, uh, at Field Day. You and I used it last year at Field Day. That's the software that we used to log the contacts at Field Day last year. Yeah, I'm just okay. And I, and I, I don't mean, but like I said, if you if you if you use it all the time, you're familiar with it. You would know what it is. If you don't know what it is, and that's why we're here to help. You. Don't okay. know what it is. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's a software that it, it's. You know, there, there, there's a lot of softwares that you can use for logging your contacts, and this one's real common because the, 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 the software developer for this is, is, you know, real good about customizing the, uh, how you input different information for different contests that you do. Each con like field day, and I, that's what I'm going to go over, but each, each contest has got different exchanges that you do, different... Uh, you know, so you got different data that you're entering in, and in certain, usually in a certain order. And you'll customize each, you know, uh, program for each contest, and that's what makes it friendly to use. It's a standalone program; you can use it. You know, you don't have to be on the internet. And that's what's nice, especially for field day. So, uh, let me see. All right, this is, you know, this in 3 fjp you can get to it from uh, n3fjp.com. Uh, this is the you know homepage, and now if you're you know if you're doing a station at Field Day, you know you 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 should have or know that somebody there is going to have a computer that you can use that's going to have this on. Uh, so don't you know everybody doesn't have to have it because it's you know. You know, we're going to have a lot of people there, and I think we're only going to have about four or five stations. But each station uh, should know that they're going to have uh, a computer with this on it. Uh, so you download it before you get there, and it's you know go into N3FJP and you go to contest logs, and then you go to field day. Uh, one thing that I did notice, if you are this year, if you're going to do it, they did an update. Because uh, I, I checked uh, to make sure I had the latest version. They did an upgrade like in December, you know, November, December. 6.8.83 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't look, but, but if, you're, if you're going, and, and usually there's not a big change, but it, 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 you know, if you are uh, operating a station at, at Bill Day, uh, go ahead and make sure that you've got the latest version. Uh, that's easy to do. All right, so once you've downloaded it, then what you do need to do at each station, uh, when you start now, is go to settings and then setup. And then what first thing that you're going to enter in, and I didn't ask, what are, what, what are we using? This year it's W4VS. That's what I thought. That's what I, I should have changed it, but this... This is the third year I've done this presentation, so it's, I mean, <laughs> you, you, it's not going to tell because, but uh, this is what last year we used this. So this year you would put in uh, W4VS. W4VS uh, is what you would put in, and as you, you would put it, when you go into settings and setup, then this is where you can put that in. And you just do that, really do that once. And the nice thing about that is what the error, errors, arrows are showing is at the bottom of the screen there, when you're making your, when you're making your exchange, it's, it's got there easy for you to see what call sign you're given for our field day and what the class is and what the section is. So you enter it there once. And then it's down at the bottom of the screen. You would think after a while you would do it, but e either at first it gets confusing because you're giving a call sign other than your own, or about three o'clock in the morning when you don't even know what your own name is. You look down there and you go, uh, "Yeah, okay, yeah, I got you." So that's where you would enter that in. 
Um, now, when you're doing an exchange, this is where it's nice because you would have your cursor up there where it says call sign and you would put in the call sign uh, of, of the other uh, station that you're talking to. You put in their call sign, you put in their class, and then section. That's all you've got to put in, hit enter. It'll put it up there in the recent contacts and you move on to the next one. So it's, that's, I'm just showing where you would put that in. All right. You're probably thinking, you know, if you've ever listened to a contest, you know, listened to a contest, and you've got a pile up, you know, where it's just, <laughs> people are just going crazy because, well, that's what we talked about last month. Uh, Fred had, a, had, had, when he was talking about, oh, we had a lot of contacts. Well, that's a pile up. So that's where he was, he was what a lot of people, one, one thing that you might hear is either park and bark or dial and smile. First time I heard that, I thought, what the heck are they talking about? But it really is two different ways of how you do contacts, especially at field day or something like that where there's a lot of them. You're either like Fred was, you're going to be on one, basically on one frequency. You're going to be calling out CQ and then everybody's going to pile on and you're going to be the one going, oh my God, I just heard 200 people calling in and who are they and what would your call sign? Uh, so... I'll be honest, I do not a lot of contests, but I do several, and I don't do much park and bark because it's just overwhelming, you know. Now, what I will do, if you're new to uh, HF, or new to field day or whatever, uh, late at night, early in the morning, when it's slower, you can, you know, when it's, if there's not a lot of people that you hear out there, you can try, you know, you can try calling it out and then, you get one person that'll wake you up. You'll, you'll, you'll leave from here and wake it up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> and he'll get his call sign, and then you'll, uh, you know, y'all do the exchange, and then you both move on. A lot of what I do is dial and smile. You know, I'm dialing through the frequencies on the band, and I'm, I'm just as nice and smiling and everything, trying to get my exchange and hoping he'll answer back. Okay. So that's why they call it dial and small. If we've got, uh, you know, some, it, it usually if you've got somebody that's kind of unique, if you've got a kid, a lot of times if it's a kid, you know, a younger person, they usually, that, that voices that kind of stand out. If you've got a younger uh, person that's there, a lot of times they go, oh, who's, who's, a little, who's a little boy that's uh, heard something in there? What's your call sign? And, you know, because they're trying to be nice to them and, and, and help them along. Uh, so that's, that's the difference there. So, women, don't, women voices do very well. This is yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Because it's, it, it, and the main thing is, is because it stands out. Um, but uh, so, you know, don't be intimidated if you're if you're new to it. Then plan on dialing small, and that's what you. Now, and the other reason why I put this up here, if you're if you're logging. Uh, and if you're if you're dialing and smiling, my technique is if you're kind of new to it. I mean, you're hearing people give their calls and they're saying CQ, you know, like they're saying CQ KK4 BPT, or they're going to say it 20 different times before you probably talk to them. So get the information each, you know, get their if it takes you five times, get their call sign. Okay, got their call sign. That's what I thought it was. That's what he said twice. I've got the call sign right. And then, you know, the next time you'll get the, 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 the class. Okay, yeah, that's a class that I got. You said it a couple of times. And then this is the section. Okay, now I've got it. Now that's when you really try to get the contact. You make the exchange, you hit the enter button, and you're done. You know, because it's just, it's just an easier way for me to do it. Um, it's a little slow, but, you know, that's, it's, it's how you learn. All right, the classes. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of this, but you'll hear, uh, you know, we're a, a, a 5A or whatever. And I'm, what are we going to be? Four we're going to be a 4A. That means we've got four stations, and we're a club or a group of three or more persons that are specifically set up for field day. Uh, the stations must be located at a place, not, re not a regular station location. That's the main thing. Uh, and, and the, the, the uh, deal about... Uh, you know, the stations have got to all be within a thousand feet, thousand feet diameter, um, so they can't be spread out all over the place. So, so if you're hearing, 
That's another thing. You know, you'll hear, uh, you know, a five A, and you think, what the heck is that? Well, this is helping. This is the first time I've ever, you know, had it explained. You know, I knew it, but I thought maybe this was one time this is something new I added this year, new and improved. All right, a B means that it's uh, one or two people that are working portable. Uh, not more than two people, and that's the main thing. It's just, it's just two, one or two people. Uh, a goda is get on the air station. All right. Now we planning on also having to get up. All right. So we're going to have a goda get on the air station, but that doesn't count as one of the four because yeah, because that's that's and, and if anybody here is, uh, you know, new to, especially HF, GOTA is, GOTA is the great thing to do. That, that is where we've got a station set up. Um, now, the people that you're contacting don't know that you're a GOTA station, so they're still going to be going crazy. But, uh, you know, there's, it's, it's a little less pressure. And the, the, the people there will, will kind of walk you through a little bit. You know, it, it's not part of really part of the competition. So if you're if you're slow making the exchange or something, they're not going to pop you over the head and go move out of the way. Let me keep going. You know, <laughs> it's, that's what GOAT is for. It's a good time to, um, to get some practice and get experience. Uh, talk to you. You don't need much experience talking on the a on the radio, especially HF. But it's unbelievable until you've actually done HF how much time and experience you need hearing HF. And Ham's not in his head because he knows what I'm talking about. I contested for years, and I can sit this far away from the radio sometimes and hear the call sign. And hear it. What do you think? Yeah. What is that? What is yeah. But your ear gets tuned to it. Your ear gets to, to and you learn the the, you know, the rhythm. There, there's a, there, the, 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 the people that do the park and bark, they kind of, they kind of get into a rhythm, and it, it helps if you stay in rhythm. If you if you kind of throw off the throw off the, the, the conga line, you're you're they, they, they kind of ignore you usually. Either that, or they'll they'll you know exchange with you to get you off the air and then move on back into the conga line. You know, um, so. Just, just listen. You know, if, if you're not, if you haven't done much HF, and you know, you can make it to field day. This is the time to do it. Um, all right. So, a C that we say what a C is? Uh, yeah, it's a mobile station. Somebody in a vehicle. Uh, D is a home station. It's somebody operating from their house. If you've got a radio set up at your house and you're doing field day, if you can't come out to us. Uh, at Germantown when we're doing the field day. You can do field day from home and you would be at these station. Um, <coughs> now you would be in E station if you really wanted to get fancy. If you're working from home but you're working off a battery or some other emergency power other than plugging it into the wall then you would actually be in E station. Well, also the D stations are supposed to only contact D stations. Did that? I, well, the reason because they changed it during COVID. Have they changed it back? I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen this year. I haven't either. Uh, we, we need to check. I know on the I know on a program there is a program that you can run within it that will pull all of these stations out. Okay. Now whether that's still yeah. I haven't read, I haven't read the rules this year. So yeah. I'm, I'm not operating this year. Yeah. So. yeah. I, I, I had forgotten about that until you said something about it, but they did change that for a short time, especially during COVID, so that. Yeah, yeah during COVID, you yeah. can actually work from home work with a club. Right. But you can't do that normally. Right, right. So. I think you're still allowed to do it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I didn't think to check that myself. Uh, and then an F station is an emergency operations center that is set up and, and they're participating in field day. Don't be concerned if you hear something like 27A. Yeah. There are some clubs yeah. that yeah, there's some put five stations, all five of the modes on every map. Actually, it's probably 28 because now you can only have up to 20, get credit for 20 stations. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe. 
Yeah. Last, last field day I did, it was, it was a guy on there with 27 and two hands. Uh, no, I think this guy was in Maryland, if I remember. Yeah. But yeah, I, may be, I may be wrong. So, so I check huh? all stations. The, the, the hope that he can talk to all, still talk, still talk to all stations. Okay, okay. Uh, another thing that's important to do, and it's in the setup and in the settings, is uh, it, it says it's optional, but it does help us as a club is uh, put in your the operator and your initials so that we'll know uh, who, who made the contact. Um, it helps us if there's any question about it, not that we're going to put you under a bright light and ask you, you know, are you sure this is the contact that you got, but um, it, just, it just helps us with that. And at the end of the day, we can see who did have how many contacts and stuff. So, <clears throat> uh, If you want some more information on YouTube, uh, N3FJP has got a good uh, presence on YouTube and if you go into theirs uh, it says you know the second one down there uh, build day contact quick start he actually goes through you know setting in fact last year that's what I did I just downloaded that and played that and we're you know that's what we did but you, you go to network playing into network yes you can't have Google yes and it does help if you network now we can have to you know it, it if we happen to have to, if we can't network and have to have duplicates after you've done it, you can. But it is kind of embarrassing, especially on Sunday when somebody says, oh, I've already talked to you. Well, maybe they didn't talk to you, but they talked to another station or something. So the, the, the software itself has a, has a part in there that will notify you if it's due. Yes, yes, yes. I should have shown that, but yeah, okay. So if you want some more, if, if, if. I didn't educate you well enough. If you want some more information, uh, go to our, on YouTube, uh, N3FJP software, build day contest, quick start, and that is a good, good it's, I mean, that's a video by the uh, software developer and he walks you through everything. Now, speaking of YouTube, Delta Club is on YouTube. Who knew that, who knew that Delta Club was on YouTube? Not very well, you know, much. Well, I know that a lot of people don't have Facebook, but my God, you know, YouTube, I can understand. All right, we do have uh, a, a, a page on YouTube. Um, now, put in, you got to search for it. You do need to look for Delta Amateur Radio Club. If you put in Delta Club, you're going to find a whole lot about Delta Airlines lounges. <laughs> when I, I, I was the one that set this up, and when I first did it, you know, I, I tried to search for it again to find it, and it's, oh my God, uh, where is it? You know? So you do have to put in Delta Amateur Radio Club, and that's where you can get to our YouTube page. Um, I try, I'm, the, I'm the one that does, uh, right now, I'm the one that does the videos, I've been doing hymns, classes, I do the classes here, uh, we put up the board meetings, uh, that's where all those videos are. Uh, as of, uh, I think this was, I did this the other day, right now we've got 122 people that are subscribers and we currently have 140 videos on our, on our YouTube page. I'll give you a plug. Go for that. I did the presentation on Mark Force today in Mark. I had a gentleman that called me the very next day and asked about some information. And uh, he is now joining us on Thursday out of the Navy base. Uh, he's on uh, active duty. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, he's going to he's going to get his smart license. Good. People are looking at it. Yeah, people are. Oh, they are. They are. We have a lot of people that, that look at this. So I want to just take a minute and just do a, a huge thanks to Steve. Without <laughs> <laughs> his efforts and uh, energy and time, we wouldn't have the presence that we have. And I am thankful, Steve. Well, time and energy that you devote to us. Thank you. So, thank you. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. This actually kind of got started uh, during COVID when we were uh, uh, Zooming 
the meetings, you know, you can get a recording of the of the meetings. I thought, well, heck, you know, this is kind of neat. This is something that later on we'd like to see. Yeah, and people that maybe couldn't join us on Zoom, but later on, you know, they're they're doing something else that night and couldn't be on us live, and we could record it and they could watch it later. So that's that's kind of how this got started. And what we have now, if you're familiar with with uh, YouTube, you can have what they call playlists. And right now, uh, I've got it set up where I've got all the videos for Ham 101 are, are in one group. Uh, the board meetings are in one group. Uh, the other videos are in another group, and then uh, the member meetings are, are all organized together. The other videos, uh, that's that's actually a screenshot from when Joe, what's his name, uh, the first president, um, John, is it Johnny Spots. Spots, Johnny Spots. That's a screenshot that we got a video. There was one night at, uh, a couple of years ago at our old location we used to meet, this, this, this guy was sitting up against the wall and, and Joe knew who he was and Joe said, hey, you know, you want to speak for a minute? I just happened to grab my iPhone real quick and recorded this. This is uh, probably about 10, 15 minute video of the first, the first president of Delta Club explaining how Delta Club got started. So, I, I mean, that's type of video. I've got that, I've got some videos from Field Day. If anybody's got any videos, um, you know that, that, that you know, look at look at what we've got on here. And if anybody happens to have some videos off your iPhone or something, and would like them posted on here, feel free to. I mean, we, we could you This is, I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing this more for historical reasons too. I mean, my God, think about later on what's you know what's what it's going to be worth to see, especially you know our evolving from COVID and stuff. You know how 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 interesting that's going to be. Now ham stuff is okay, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> what about Facebook? All right, I, and I know a lot of people aren't on Facebook. I know the joke, and that's one. I will say that you know we 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 done some stuff. You know when we said oh we put it on Facebook, everybody should know about it. And I've raised my hand and said yeah, but we've probably got about half this group that's not on Facebook, and if you are, you don't look at it very often. So I'm. I've, I've raised the red flag. We need to, you know, say that that's not a primary source of communication, but it is something that we have. Um, so we are on Facebook. Once again, it's uh, uh, Delta Amateur Radio Club. Look at that. We've got uh, 689 people that are following us on Facebook, and we've only got 160-ish members. So followers. I mean, we've got we've got six five times the number of people that are members of the group that are that you know are following what we're doing on Facebook. So that's that's kind of interesting. Um, now <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe no fill the need. All right. We have an opening on the board for a public information officer. All right. If 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 you go back and look at our YouTube page, if you look at our Facebook page, and you go, my God, I could do, my kids could do better than that, sign them up. <laughs> All right? I am not a, I am not a computer expert. I am not, you know, this is just something that I've, it, it's mainly just been a way of saving the videos and stuff. That's how a lot of this got started. Um, and I, I was surprised when I looked that, you know, 600 people looking at us on Facebook. But it is a way of, I, I try as much as I can, a little bit in advance, you know, giving notice and especially addresses and that type of thing of anything that we got going on. And then every once in a while, when I can, follow it up with, you know, what's, what's happened. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if, if anybody would, would like to borrow and you know, we're going to lock the doors. Volunteer. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're going to lock the doors and we're not leaving until somebody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um, raise their hands. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see. But like I said, I just, yeah, it's it's something it's something that I would like to see keep going. But it, we at least, and, and that's one thing, we at least need one or two people to do it. Because 
I'm not going to be able to be at field. We've got a lot going on at field day this year, and I'm not going to be at our field day this year. So anything that happens, I'm not going to be able to, you know, record it or, or post it for, 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 you know, this year. Uh, and I'm not going to, you know, there's there's going to be, I know one meeting coming, you know, next couple of months, uh, August. I'm not going to be here at the August meeting. So Pam, one-on-one in the, in, the, in the other meeting, you know, we, we need somebody. So having one or two, having two people would help so that if one of the people can't be there, then the other one could, so we can keep it going. So, all right, any questions? I'm not going to ask about comments because I know you all you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm recording. I'm recording. Who would like to be uh, coach for the governor's station? Okay. We need, a, we need somebody to coach the governor's station. Oh. And that would probably be from 1 o'clock to probably 8 o'clock, 7 or 8 o'clock at night, and then shut down and then go the next day. Because most people in the district aren't there. Late night. All right, thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. And we'll follow up in a moment with uh, the open position. Thank you for that uh, opportunity. Uh, a couple of closing comments on um, we'll talk about field day. So we're going to have an 8015 station, we're going to have a 20 meter station, uh, a CW station, and an FT8 station. Those, so that's our 4A uh, category. Um, so we are, at least I am currently planning on, and a few others are planning on being there 24 hours. That may change, but right now that's what's currently on uh, the plan. So we'd love to have some company. I will actually say one of the best experiences I personally had with Field Day was last year. I uh, spent the evening uh, having some conversations and just learning about some stuff with Steve and some others. Uh, and it was 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes, sir. Two things he didn't mention, Gilda's got a different call sign. Correct. And uh, who's going to see that you pack clean without coming? Ms. Carolyn is going to handle our CW issue for us. So, so right out of the player bed. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a good point. I was going through the stations real quick. So we'll have an 8015, we'll have a 20 meters, a CW, and a uh, FT8. The main primary station will be running is W4PS this year, and the go to station will be running W4EM. Uh, that's the Neshoba call. So we're not working to get uh, MARA. MARA, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. Uh, so anyway, I have it backwards, I apologize. Uh, so we're running with that call. Uh, for Goda. Goda is, and I'm going to plug shamelessly Goda, and that's why Joe was calling out for a coach. Goda is an, an, a wonderful way for any licensed class uh, amateur radio operator to come up and get some experience with a, uh, high frequency radio operation. You can walk up as any licensed class, and the coach is going to be sitting there and is going to have the privilege as the control operator that you can go anywhere in the band that you want to go and just make a contact and see what it's like. Great experience, highly recommended. Come out and run GOGA and make some contacts. Yes, sir? Not to mention, there's plenty of opportunity at the other stations to fill in and talk and Absolutely. Talk and I mean, it was, if you didn't want and to... Con- set, and set up. And set up. <laughs> set up, yes. Let's talk about set up. It'll be Saturday morning. Uh, Go ahead, Joe. For new people... GOTA is great if you're wanting in the operation, but just as a new person, what I would do is go to one of the stations and do the logging for that station. You get to to see what the rhythm is on how the exchanges go and all of that. Rhythm is probably 90% of contact. You get that rhythm, you see the role of how the operator comes in, uh, and uh, gives the call uh, W4BS, and you can come out with Whiskey 4 Boy Scouts, Whiskey 4 Bull Shooter. Uh, and, and some of those things like that will, will draw attention. And that's what you're looking for is for them to get that call sign. But it's really good to be able to, if, if you'll sit down at the computer, I think everybody knows how to operate a computer, basically, and the operator of the station can help you in, in the logging. 
uh, to where do the logging for a while, then switch over to making contacts and rotate. You can even go back and forth because you'll get tired of, of calling this is Whiskey 4 uh, Bravo Sierra 4 Alpha Tennessee. Whiskey 4 Bravo Sierra 4 Alpha Tennessee. So at that point, we, we'd love to have you out. Lots of hours to run this, so look forward to seeing everybody. You had a question? I did. So at these events, you have you know, the general public wondering up, trying to figure out what you're doing. Absolutely. Is there That's a what spot going. for people to meet and greet? Absolutely. There's an information table. There's an information table. There's activities. I personally am planning on, I've reached out to a couple of uh, scout troops and we're going to have an opportunity for them to work on their radio air badge. information officer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some contacts uh, that we can talk about. Uh, our other partners, Fred Miller's got some really good contacts that he's going to leverage to try to get our publicity out there. So we're hoping to get some good uh, publicity out there and get in some newsletters. Maybe we can get some news coverage. Maybe it's a public official out. That's the goal. Just this, uh, I've said it a couple times in the Sparks article. I mentioned it. A the AWRL and Field Day. This is our one day that's highly publicized for amateur radio to shine in the spotlight of the world. So it's it's a big day for us. We where we try to take advantage of it. Yes, John. Uh, Saturday, I'm making a, a ham radio presentation at the Collierville Library uh, in the Halley Room from two to. 3.30, if anybody's interested in, uh, in coming. Uh, it's basically intro information. Fantastic. Uh, we'll transition with that announcement. Anybody have any other announcements? Yes, ma'am. Shall I tell them about the class? Absolutely. <laughs> We're going, I'm going to... I don't really need I this. Know, but. I'm going to have a demonstration class about 10.30 Saturday morning on antennas, specifically vertical antennas after the presentation that we had last month and the success of that antenna. We're going to talk very uh, specific about it. We're going to put up and I'm also going to demonstrate how you phase those antennas so you can actually direct those antennas 360 degrees with gain by using two antennas and facing lines. So that will be at 10.30 Saturday morning at field day. So we'd like to have a good participation because we're going to participate. We're going to put up two antennas and I'm going to explain how it all works and uh, we might even hook them up to the go station. Saturday and, at field day. Uh, do what? Saturday at field day. Saturday at field day, yes. 10.30. And, uh, and to, to just to, to add a little bit to go to, let's get on the air. And it's not just for licensed hands. It's for John and uh, Susie Q. Public that comes up and wants to know what ham radio is about. If they want to, we'll send them down to go to station and let them operate. Long as there is a licensed operator, that's the control point. Needed. You know, well, that's all it takes. And they can get on the air and operate. So that's. That's still part of it. So we're gonna we're gonna try to do some things. Matter of fact, I give the club an extra hundred points, I think, for Absolutely. field day. So have a plan. I think Rick, you're gonna do satellite contact and have six meter as well, or and that's an extra station. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's still four alpha. It, it counts for points, but not for transmitters. So if you're interested in satellite communications with the uh, Two meter and seventy centimeters. Rick has a demonstration of six meters as well. So, field day is a fun activity. Just uh, I saw a bunch of hands that were raised for coming out. Uh, we're going to have some food there as well. Uh, we're going to have at least uh, lunch and dinner. Just uh, the one thing that I want to ask. I want to try to send out an email to the club list a little bit later. Uh, and just let us know if you're planning, just so we have a little bit of better head count. And we can do a little bit of planning for that. It's not a commitment, just a, a heads up. That would be super duper helpful. All right. Any other announcements? Now, it will be 105 degrees and a good chance of thunderstorms. We'll, we'll still. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Bring a chair and bug spray. Yep. And just so you know, it's at the Germantown Municipal Park this year, same place it was a couple of years in a row now. It's behind uh, the Germantown Public Library uh, over in that, uh, by the GPAC. It's over in that uh, GAC, over in that area. It's in that park. Uh, it's easy to find. We'll be in the uh, gazebo, and you'll, easy to find. Look for all the antennas. Uh, all right, shameless plug, signal report. I do have paper copies if you don't want to fill it out online electronically. Fill out your signal report. That helps us know what's helpful, what was well received, what was not well received. It helps us uh, change uh, what you are interested in and move and adapt to that and give us, gives us that easy feedback. So just hit this QR code on your table. There's two by the door and uh, that helps out a lot. Uh, last call for announcements. I make a motion we adjourn. Motion made to adjourn by him. Is there a second? There's a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Here, Please clean off your table.